Just a few words I'd like to say before we start the draw. Um, it's been a great privilege of me, for me to be a patron of uh, Patchwork, which I think is one of the most innovative and exciting charities that has been formed in this country uh, probably since the world of charity really started to get legs probably about 40, 50 years ago. And uh, I want to pick on a particular word here. We heard about Harris's mother inventing the word patchwork with everything that patchwork means and how, pre how precisely it sums up the, the multicolored society that we actually live in. But I want to just pick on half of that. I want to pick for a moment on the word patch. Now, when a new charity is formed, it is usually formed because there is an issue that needs addressing in society, and some people have identified that issue and want to do something about it. It starts usually in a small way, which means that what it does starts off being a patch on the problem or the issue that it is addressing. But I have to tell you, I have never known a charity that started off in a small way and went so quickly from being a patch to being a mainstream solution for a major issue that has affected our society for far too long. Patchwork is absolutely showing the way. It is a real leader in creating a proper, fully integrated society of the kind that we all want, in which everyone plays a really active part at all levels. And uh, Patchwork has, well, it has growth, seriously rapid growth, and now from this evening, exploding growth. I think, I think this is a catalytic moment with all of you helping, and I assume committing to help even more in the years ahead. It has a real purpose. It addresses a real issue that is right at the heart of a society that needs addressing, where the momentum needs to be kept up in a spectacular way. This isn't something that's going to be a starburst for a few years. This is something that is ingrained in the fabric of society and which is really going to go on and on, being incredibly special in all kinds of ways. It has a visible effect on society. We will all notice it over, over the years to come as, as, we, as we develop a real way of connecting people in all sections of the community, in the ethnic communities especially, with the people who are right at the top of government. And one of the ways that Harris did it, which I thought was really powerful and exciting, was actually to say, we're not going to just grow in a small way. In order to, in order to grow in a spectacular way and to be that mainstream solution, we're going to go straight to the top. So he went to the leaders of all the political parties. He went to the civil servants, the top civil servants, the top people in the worlds of PR, in journalism, and people who are really at the top of society who were also committed in a very powerful way to making sure that we move as quickly as possible to a totally integrated society in this country, which will put the great back into Great Britain. I have absolutely no doubt about that. And, uh, it repairs, patchwork really does repair a major issue in our society. And uh, I've been privileged to compare the MP of the Year Awards, where uh, started by patchwork and continued by patchwork, where MPs of all parties um, are judged on what they do for the, the disadvantaged and ethnic communities in their constituencies. And you know something? This, this judging process is unique because this particular judging process has got the names of the MPs and their constituencies and any detail that can identify the constituencies blacked out. It is redacted on the forms that the judges look at. So when the judges come to a judgment, they don't know the individuals concerned. And I don't know any other judging process, certainly in the voluntary sector, where that, where that happens, and I think it's, it's a measure of the, um, of the truthfulness, of the accuracy, and the, and the core purpose of patchwork, that they chose to do it this, in, in this incredibly fair way. Um, now, when I, as, as part of the um, awards, which uh, um, are really amazing, you know, there are, there are people who are leading from each party, each party has its series of awards, and uh, John Pina and I 
uh, split up the interviews that we do with the MPs afterwards. And, you know, MPs, sometimes when they're asked to be interviewed by a journalist, there's a little bit of nervousness, there's a little bit of hesitation. John and I can't stop them talking because they are so enthusiastic about what they have been able to achieve in their constituencies. And this is something that, despite the efforts of John's great program, often go unreported or underreported. And I want you to remember, as you help patchwork over the, over the years to come, I want you to remember that because of the nature of the media that we have in this country, or some elements of the media in this country, that you will not necessarily see what Patchwork is doing reported as fully as I think it should be. But it will be there, it will continue to grow, and it will continue to be a very powerful force in this country.